what it means to really love somebody. Love, though the tears may fade away. I'm so glad your love will stay. Cause I love you. And you show me, Jesus, what it really means to love. Patient love, kind love, sweet love, kind love, patient love, kind love, sweet love, kind love, love. Now, you know, I, that song just came to my mind like early this morning and it made me think about something. As you go through life, you're going to go through a lot of circumstances where people are going to hurt you. You're going to be disappointed. And in that hurt and that disappointment, you know, I made a video here a, a couple of days ago about taking accountability. Yes, we have to take accountability for, you know, our actions and what we contribute into our situations, which create our circumstances. But with that being said... We live in a world where we are constantly connected to others, whether that's energetically or in the physical. And in order to get any experience out of life, in order to know anything, we are all going to go through a point in life where we're foolish. We're all going to make mistakes. Everybody's going to deal with people who, you know, maybe you gave too much of a benefit of the doubt. Um, you're going to deal with instances where you look at the potentials of the situation instead of the truth of what is being put in front of your face of what actually is and who these people truly are and what their intentions are towards you and vice versa. But with that being said, the key thing at the bottom of it is, is love. Do you love yourself enough to stop the hurt? Do you love yourself enough to stop sacrificing yourself? Do you love yourself enough you know love a word that comes and goes but few people really know what it means to really love somebody and the reason why people don't really know what it means to really love somebody is because first they haven't taken the time to get to know how to love themselves and a part of getting to know how to love yourself is getting to know yourself you can dress the nicest. You can have the best um, material things. You can have, you know, pretty much an exemplary, ex exemplary life based on other people's um, guidelines and what their vision of life is. But have you really taken the time to know what your needs are, what your desires are, what your strong suits are, where your, where your weak points are? Once you take the moment to do that, and you can recognize the divine within yourself and realize that you are not just one thing. You are pretty much an accumulation of all things. When you start noticing that, you know, it is just a part of you being a human being, that you are going to have dark days and light days. Everybody ain't going to like everything about you. Hell, you don't even like everything about your damn self. Whenever you take a moment to acknowledge that and then go in and say, hey, I like this about me. Or I dislike this about me. Let me change that. Or the things that I do like, let me glorify those things about myself. That is when you have found the Jesus in you. That is when you have found Jesus. Because except the so many people look at the Bible as something that is so literal. And in some cases, it may be literal. I'm not discrediting that. But in the same breath, I don't want people who, anybody who listens to me or feels what I'm saying to understand that Jesus is a representation of who you are. Jesus is a representation of people disliking you for no damn reason. Jesus is a representation of being glorified and exalted for his capabilities and abilities, his talents and all that good stuff, his contribution back to the community uh, that he was involved with, you feel me? Him being glorified for that and also being shunned by the majority of the world for what he had to offer and just being who he was, which was the son of God, the son of man. And that is who we all are essentially. Son of God, son of man. They say G God is in you, Jesus is in you. That is what the story of Jesus represents. You finding yourself. And whenever you find yourself, you will be crucified. When you find yourself, everybody will be dismissed up out of your life who you thought was going to be there. When you find yourself, 
certain shit you just ain't going to be going for anymore. Because when you find Jesus, that is you saying, whenever you find your higher self, in other words, when you found your higher self, whenever you found God, God Christ is righteousness. You know, we hear everybody in the conscious community talking about uh, Christ consciousness. Christ consciousness is you returning to righteousness. And you returning to righteousness is you returning to being righteous towards your damn self. Doing things that feel good to you, that are right for you, that are best for you. And returning that to the same people who you deal with and having the having the best intentions for you. For yourself and having the best intentions towards other people. Then he says, patient, love, kind, love, sweet, love, kind, love, patient, love, kind, love. You know, we expect patient love. We accept patience, kindness, cooperation, and good favors and good intentions from everybody in the world around us. But in the same breath, are you putting it out to the people that you interact with on a daily basis? Are you giving it to your children? Are you giving it to your family members? Are you showing appreciation for all the value that anybody or anything adds to your life? I don't care if you're in the worst circumstances or, like I mentioned earlier, in the best. Are you thankful for the small things that really make life matter? Are you treating yourself like the temple? Because whenever we talk about the church and the temple, that's essentially what we're talking about. Your body, you, are you treating you as the temple? Are you going and letting anybody downplay you? Are you letting anybody abuse you? Are you abusing yourself? Or are you loving yourself? Are you showing yourself kindness in those areas where you feel like you are weak? Are you are you being patient with yourself to say, hey, I got to grow through this in order for me to glow in this? You feel me? Those are the questions that you need to start asking. And whenever you start giving yourself the type of love that you wish to receive, that is exactly whenever you will begin to receive it. Love is painful. Love is even more so painful whenever you don't know yourself. But whenever you do know yourself, you can ease that pain and step away from the things that don't benefit you. That way you can have space in your life for the things that do. Some people get so held up and caught up on the fact that they've been hurt, that somebody did them wrong, and they feel like they owe it to everybody else. But that's one of the reasons why you're here. You're here to learn. You're here to experience. And a fool will remain a fool until the fool has an experience and chooses to take the lessons that he has learned from them of those experiences and apply them to his life in order to be better. Better for himself, number one, and better for the people around him, number two. And that way, those people that he touches can radiate and out into the world around him. And that's going to create better circumstances for all. The golden rule is one of the main things that you can follow your life by if you don't know nothing else and you'll make it up at this thing. Okay, treat others as you want to be treated. Thank you.